Hey folks, Dan here. I wanted to give an update on several things today, all of which are good, very good. Uh, so first of all, excellent news over on the uh, crowdfunding front. Uh, Hallowed Harvest has been mailed out. Yeah, I have tracking numbers for all the backers, and uh, they should start arriving early next week. So if you backed, please keep an eye on your post, and you should be receiving everything you ordered in good order. If there are any issues, please reach out to us with your backer ID over at mythoversecomics at gmail.com. Um, I'm personally, I'm, I'm thrilled to hear what everyone thinks of this book. Uh, it's a great collection of uh, Halloween-themed stories and a nice, hefty 64-page full-color volume. Um, very proud of this one and all the creators who came together to get it done. If um, by any chance you missed the campaign, uh, do not despair. Now that the backers are being taken care of, uh, this book will be made available digitally and in print over on mythomerch.com. So I'll be sure to let everyone know uh, when that's all set. So now that Mythics Number 2 and Hallowed Harvest are on their way to completion, uh, what's next? Well, it's time to move on to the next, which is uh, Adobe Kroger, Dame Commander, number two. I have the print proof right here. So this means that, yes, the book is complete and the campaign will serve essentially as a, uh, a pre-order store. So you'll get the book digitally immediately upon the funds clearing. And the uh, print fulfillment won't take any longer than it takes the printer to print them and get them out. So they'll have, um, they'll have all the files ready. And um, as you can see uh, from what I was just holding here, and I'm holding again right here, it looks great. So I'm getting the pre-sign-up page built out for next week, so, uh, so stand by for that. So now, now over on the Patreon front, um, great news all around as well. Our next short comic, um, Bitch, uh, is written by Dylan R. Fagan and illustrated by Rosalind Summers, is done. Yep, all the art's complete. Um, so that'll be going out digitally to all backers at the $5 level or higher on February 5th, which is uh, when the funds clear on Patreon. So you're going to love this one. Uh, it's very poignant, and Rosalind's art is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm showing you right now here a uh, work in progress of the cover. Uh, and while the cover art is the last thing that's still in progress, I think it's a strong enough composition to show off uh, even at this level of completion. Um, it's just fantastic. Uh, so bitch is coming to February. F um, it's coming February 5th to backers at the $5 uh, level or higher. Okay. So next on the Patreon front, um, our upcoming serial racing manga, Triple Crown is uh, progressing as well. I have here the first page fully inked, giving you a uh, great idea of what to expect from our newest artist, Darian. Uh, what we have here uh, is an early automobile and examples of the machines used in the first runnings of the three races which make up our main character's ultimate goal. Uh, right here is the Indy 500, uh, right here is the Monaco Grand Prix, and right here is the 24 Hours of Le Mans. That's what the cars looked like when the races started. So a little bit of historical context here. Um, as far as the uh, overall sport of motor racing that our main character will be participating in. So when Triple Crown is complete, it will be available at the $5 level on the Patreon as well. So just want to show you off a, another uh, sample page here. This is what you can expect from Darian in terms of the racing action. Here we have uh, Skip Sparks uh, attempting to overtake an opponent for 10th place, which doesn't seem like a lot, but uh, in Formula One, 10th place is when you start scoring points. So this will be Skip Spark's first point if she can maintain 10th place. So even that one single point is worth fighting for, and she fights her heart out for it. And here is, of course, um, the uh, first illustration ever done for the uh, for the book. This was uh, me trying Darian out to see if uh, he would be up for the task, and he absolutely was, and then some. Um, we have here... Um, a reproduction of a 2022 Formula One car, the main character, Skip Sparks, and the logo, which I designed here. It has the uh, everything that you need to know at a glance that it is, in fact, a racing manga. We have the checkered flag here. We have the O and Triple Crown replaced with an oval track with a little checkered flag in it. And I swapped, of course, the E and Triple for three. 
make it a little bit more iconographic. So see what I did there? Um, that's um, that's Trip Crown. So uh, the five dollar level um, will have these two new digital comics on the Patreon as soon as they're done. Bitch is coming right up, and Triple Crown should be on its heels shortly thereafter. So um, speaking of the five dollar level on the Patreon. Um, our new spicy NSFW pinups were very well received, so um, I decided to go ahead and make them available to more of our backers starting as of right now. So if you are a backer at the $5 level or higher, you will now be able to view these weekly pinups from a variety of incredible artists, uh, including our own Leandro Panganaban, who brought you Adobe Kroger, and Luigi Terrell from the Rags team. So very cool. I hope everyone... Uh, enjoys these. Um, in addition, there are some new audio content on the way, as promised, uh, detailing more of the Mythoverse's history as well. Stay tuned for that. It will be an audio format, uh, just like the previous one was. So, um, check us out on the $5 level or higher to get all these digital books and a whole bunch of new stuff. And if you elect to um, back us at the $15 level, you will, of course, be getting uh, all the print books as described. Um, the Patreon variants, the 22-page dropping out, the Nertus Mythologica, which I should get the print in my hands within the next week, and um, all of our upcoming stuff there. So Patreon's a good place to back us, and uh, we hope to see you there. In terms of social media, we are uh, spending a lot more time over on Minds.com right now. So if you um, are interested in, in getting the most up-to-date information, um, go ahead and subscribe to us over on minds.com slash Mythoverse Comics. Um, we are remaining on Twitter and everywhere else, obviously, but we go to Minds first. Uh, we really like the platform, and we'd love to see more of you uh, follow us over there. So if you have a Minds account and you haven't uh, subscribed to us, uh, go for it. If you want to be up-to-date... Um, in the best possible way, um, go ahead and make a Minds account, simple, and uh, subscribe to us over on minds.com slash Mythiverse Comics. So uh, that's it for right now. Um, a lot of stuff coming up. Uh, Adobe Kroger, I'm really excited about that one. That's uh, going to be a fantastic book. Uh, 40 pages of story, um, all pencil, of course, by Le Leandro Panganiban. So it's um, a little bit thicker and denser than issue one. Uh, we get a little bit more into Adobe's character. The action ramps up considerably, as you can tell from the art on the cover. And um, I think you're really going to love this one. Can't wait for more people to read this one. So until next time, folks, um, we will have more updates coming regularly. But until then, stay safe and stay sane.